Good morning. Today we're going to move our bodies, reduce some stress, release trauma. We're going to do the elbow torque. So right hand, left shoulder, left hand, grab the elbow, twist it, turn it either direction. I want you to find tension. The more tension that you have, the better. So I like to go out because that creates the most tension for me. Slowly move around and breathe. You can move your arm above your head. You can bend, squat. Keep that tension on the elbow. That's the most important part of the movement. And relax. Let's do the other side. So left hand, right shoulder, right hand. Grab the elbow, twist it into tension. Once you've got it, move around. Move your elbow. Keep that tension with the fascia. That's the most important part here. Now breathe. Okay, shake it off. That one made me a little lightheaded. So let's do under the armpits. It's really powerful, especially if you wear bras, if you work out a lot, um, if you have forward rolled shoulders, if you have frozen shoulder, take your right hand and you're going to grab the skin under your left armpit. Pull it down and hold it there. Don't let it move. And you're going to slowly lift your arm up. Move it around. So you're stretching the skin in your armpit area or the fascia, really. Breathe. Okay. Shake that off. Guilt, grief, shame gets held right here. Other side, grab the skin with your left hand under the right armpit, lock it, lift your arm up, move it around and breathe. Okay, we did our armpits, we did our elbows. Let's do our sinuses. So right hand, grab the skin on the left side of your nose. Pin and lock the skin and then left hand, push it back. Stretch it and breathe. And relax. Ooh. Switch sides, left hand, grab the right side of your nose. Push the skin back with the right hand. Lock it in place, move around and breathe. And relax. I love that one. That one's one of the best for cleaning the sinuses out, breathing better. If you breathe more through the day, then you're in less stress. Let's take right hand on the heart, left hand on the head, and we're gonna breathe together. Breathe in through the mouth. And out. Two. And out. Three. Out. Nose. Out. Two. Out. Three. Good one for anger. Look, right hand, go in the center between, between your rib cage and your xiphoid, right on your xiphoid process. And then I want you to go under the right rib cage, under the right rib cage, push into there. You'll find your liver and your gallbladder. Now you can just hover your hand over it, or you can actually twist the skin. I like to twist the skin because that creates a little bit of friction on the fascia. And then take your left hand on your neck. So we're on our gallbladder and our liver with our right hand, left hand on the neck. Gallbladder and liver holds anger and resentment. So we're going to let that go. Breathe in through the mouth. Out. Two. Three. Nose. Two. Three. And relax, shake off your hands. Okay, let's pull our ears. Stick both your thumbs kind of in your ear just to get a grip with your fingers. Grab the top of your ear with your fingers and twist it forward. And then really twist it. Don't be shy. Move around. Ah. 
And blacks. Let's do psoas. Somebody asked for the psoas. Psoas is actually for digestion. Uh, people think it's lower back and the psoas muscle, but in there you've got all of the organs and specifically the intestines. So we're stretching our brain and we're stretching our digestive system when we do this so that it can flow better. Okay, so for the psoas, take both hands on the belly button. You're going to go two inches to the right and then about two inches down. And all you're doing is finding the tightest part here, or like a, a sticky, tight ball, okay? Pull the skin up. Twist it. Stretch it. You should feel a stretching, burning sensation over this area, almost going into your hip. Step your left foot forward, lean back. Really stretch the fascia and the skin and the front. Breathe. And relax. Let's do the other side. You might feel a stretching, burning sensation if you're really tight. Step the opposite foot forward. So the right foot forward, lean back and breathe. And relax. Ooh, shake it off. Shake off. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I want everybody to, to know that even at every level and every stage of a journey of taking care of yourself or, or developing yourself, or no matter how much success you have at anything that you do, People are all human and we all experience it. What's next? The twisty wristy. Oh, this one hurts. Take your right hand, stick it out in front of you. Oh, there you go. Okay. Left hand, grab the fingers and pull them back. Really pull it back. It might hurt. Now, once you got it locked, slowly bring the elbow in and then bring your wrist up and twist it. Push your shoulder up. Turn your upper body from left to right and keep your head in the center and squat. Breathe. If you can't squat because you're sitting, that's okay. I still want you to kind of counter rotate and move. Breathe deep. Ow. <laughs> okay, relax, shake it off. We're still things that I'm working on. I know the way to do it. But I also have to learn the emotional reason. I have to change my habits day to day. And once I can reconcile the emotions and the narratives and the patterns and the traumas, then the movements will work. To have a completely balanced body means we would have to balance our masculine and feminine side. We would have to release the trauma and emotions held in our body. We would have to have a balanced life where we're doing things equally the same on the left and the right side. And that is quite the quite the experience to create. So I'm working on that. I don't think that our bodies will ever be perfectly symmetrical. Other side, left hand out, right hand, grab the fingers, pull them towards you. Pull it in. Pull your wrist to your shoulder, turn your fingers out and move around. Shoulders, usually weight of the world or weight of your emotional feminine side. So you've got your masculine side, which is like the physical world, your dad, your masculine side. So if you've got a tight right shoulder or traps, it's usually because that left side is feminine side. Yeah, power crook in the evening is okay. Um, left is feminine, your mom carrying the emotional weight of the people around you and relaxing. There are certain movements that you can do for the human body that at a certain state of awareness work. If I contract the front of my body, the back will relax. The closer that I get to alignment in my body, the more truth there is of what works and what doesn't. I have almost no tension left in my body other than my forearms, my calves behind my knees and my ankles. And looking for more support in my life. That's the knees. You're moving forward in your life, your hips, how you feel about your emotions, your feet. So different areas will create different tension points based on what you're experiencing, the patterns and traumas that you have. Let's do another movement. This one actually helps with realignment in the body. Um, I don't like to do any postural exercises using strength because you're actually creating tension 
which creates pressure, which pulls the body back into alignment, but you're creating stress and tension as a result. For me, I would rather feel really good in my body and let my body sit naturally where it wants to sit based on that. So this one is really good for alignment. You're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna grab under the collarbone there. Grab, like, grab the fascia and the skin under the collarbone and you're gonna pull the skin over your shoulder. Left hand, grab your chest underneath and you're gonna pin it. So pull the skin over, but you're pinning on your chest. So now you've got two points of leverage. Now I want you to move around and breathe. <sighs> Whoa. And relax, shake it off, walk around a little bit. It's always good to pin first, then pull. So I like to pin it, grab, pull. And that way I'm locking everything down here in place so this area is forced to move while you're doing it. And then to advance it, you can also twist the elbow and pull it up and over. Some of you already know that. Okay, so walk around and see how you feel. This will open up your hips, your ankle, your face, because if I change the pressure or tension or stress in one area, like the torso, it changes it in the head and the legs down. You can't change one area of the body and not have it impact another area. Let's do one for, I'm feeling behind the knees a lot the last like day or two. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna interlock your hands and fingers behind your right knee. Bend the knee. The reason why you bend it is because it's, no, it's at a shortened length. Pull the skin up behind the knee towards your butt with both hands, like, like, like grip it and pull the skin. Like you're trying to rip the skin behind your knee and then straighten your leg and move around and breathe. I like to straighten, bend, I like to twist, really pull it up. Now, if you're tight in your lower back, you might feel it in your lower back. You can do this sitting down as well. You're literally just pulling the skin behind the knee. Now, why behind the knee? Because knees are support. Behind the knee is fear. And also, when you sit in a chair, that chair compresses the fascia here. Imagine if I squeezed under your leg, just gently squeezed it for eight hours. What would that do to your body? Now, you're doing that all the way underneath your butt cheeks and your lower back. That's not good because your fascia has layers. If I just compress it a little bit, eight hours a day, it gets sticky and it gets stuck there and then it doesn't flow properly, which creates tension. Okay, let's do the other side. So interlock your hands and fingers behind your left knee. Bend the knee, grab the fascia and then straighten your leg. And then you can create that rotation. So I like to rotate with my foot, but I also use the rotation with my hands. Bend, straighten, breathe. If you're sitting down, you can also do it like this. Ooh, okay, relax. Ah. Okay, now if you feel that in your lower back, that's okay. We can do the knee torque. So you're gonna grab your knee like this. So both knees, you can do it seated. So if you're sitting, just do it like this. If you're standing, you can squat with me. So you're gonna grab both your kneecaps and then you're gonna twist with a thumbs up. So twist the skin over the knees and then squat. Breathe. If you have to readjust your grip, you can. And relax. Ooh, shake up your hands. Ah, okay. Well, I feel a change in pressure in my ears. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you for today. I really appreciate it.